The state Supreme Court voted today unanimously to allow a recall effort for Seattle City Council member Kshama Sawant to move forward. So it sets up a potentially expensive race to unseat the three term city council member. King 5's Chris Daniels explains what's next. By a vote of nine to zero, the state Supreme Court upheld the charges as fact that Shama Sawant used city resources to promote a ballot initiative, disregarded state orders on COVID-19 by admitting people to a city hall rally, and led a protest march to Seattle Mayor Jenny Durkin's house, which was protected by state confidentiality laws, and that they can legally be used as a basis for a recall. That speaks volumes that this is a serious, serious thing that's going on and that they, they are standing with the people of District 3. Henry Bridger is the campaign manager for the Recall Sawant campaign and said he believes she should now resign to save taxpayers from what will be an expensive legal defense. That is highly unlikely, as already today, Sawant announced a public rally for Saturday and according to Seattle's Ethics and Elections Department, has already raised $426,000, of which 65% of the donations have come from out of the city. Bridger's campaign has raised a little under 300,000 and still needs thousands of signatures in Seattle's 3rd District to get the measure on the ballot, he says, by November at the earliest. We are going to do it. We are going to continue. We're going to continue on. We'll, we'll continue the fight. We need to we need to get Seattle back to where it was. Chris Daniels, King 5 News.